welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today I am doing my favourite transitional pieces, um, like the key pieces for transitional season and how I'm styling them and some outfit inspiration. So I always find that when I come to a new season, um, I'm really excited for like the new clothes and stuff, but sometimes it's like after summer, I'm like, how do I wear these clothes? Like, I don't know how to explain it, but you know, you're just not used to wearing certain pieces of clothing and just completely get a mind blank. So I thought it'd be really fun to share with you guys how I'm styling things to give you some inspiration. So I'm going to talk you through each of my key pieces and then show you how I'm going to style them. And the first thing that I want to talk to you about is jewellery. So this video is actually in collaboration with Clues, who make beautiful jewellery and watches. Um, you should definitely go and check them out. And I'm going to show you how I style my Clues jewellery in my transitional outfits today. So I actually update my watch wardrobe quite regularly. I'm not someone who just has one watch that I wear all the time. I used to be. And then I discovered that actually jewellery can upgrade an outfit so much more than you think. Um, and just because a watch is there to tell the time doesn't mean that it can't be beautiful. Um, and I think that building a jewellery around your watch can create a really beautiful effect. And also I just think jewellery is such an underrated thing that when you wear it, it really just pulls your look together and um, creates a more special kind of finished, polished look rather than just I threw this on. So the pieces I'm going to start today are this new Clues watch, um, which I just got and I'm so excited about because it's so pretty and it's perfect for the transitional season because it's got those light colours and um, I wear light colours all year round anyway but it's kind of perfect for transitional because it's still quite summery and it's got the gold detail on the marble which we all love um, and I love this and this is going to work perfectly too for some of my outfits because I've got lots of red and as we know pink and red colour clash is always in at the moment. Then they've also recently launched a jewellery collection so I have some of their beautiful pieces of jewellery um, like this gold bangle here with the marble detail um, I have another gold bangle which has kind of got like a geometric pretty pattern um, and another bracelet which is beautiful and I'm hoping they bring this out in some form of choker it's like a velvet bracelet with like a little hexagon um, gold charm with the marble detail um, and they all look beautiful together especially when they're paired with the watch as a collection they just look so gorgeous with the marble in the bracelet brings out the marble in the watch and the gold all matches together and the black and pink together look so so those are the pieces of jewelry that i'll be finishing off all of my looks with so the first piece of autumnal clothing that i want to talk to you about is chunky knits now it's something that some people think is often reserved for the depths of winter but i love to wear chunky knits in the transitional season so i feel like they're great for kind of adapting your summer clothing and letting you wear them throughout so I recently picked up this chunky knit from Marks and Spencers and I love it so much. I got this in an extra large and I often size up in chunky knits but I'll leave all of the details of what sizes I got for everything below so you can have a look and then make that decision based on what I picked. So this jumper I would style now, I'd wear it over dresses like my summer dresses so you've just got a pretty bit of skirt flicking out over the skirts. Um, and I just think it, chunky knits um, make it so you don't have to wear a jacket. So you don't have to wear like a coat um, with your outfit. You can just wear a chunky knit over your dress. Um, and it keeps that kind of like laid back summer look. And lets you um, wear your summer pieces through to autumn. I also wanted to show you this chunky knit. Which I just picked up from New Look. A brand at New Look. Which is amazing. And it's all embroidered. And it really, really, really reminded me of a Zara one from last year. Which got completely sold out like straight away. Got this one in a medium. And I think it's black. Is it a black or navy with embroidery? Embroidery has been big for so long. And I love it on this knit. And I just thought this was... Because it's got the florals, it's kind of like perfect for transitioning because you've got the chunky knit but with the florals on it and pair it with a denim skirt, it's going to look beautiful. So another thing that I wear all year round, um, and I just love in general, but um, they're amazing for transitional seasons, is ankle boots. So ankle boots are the perfect way to upgrade your denim shorts and your um, dresses and skirts to kind of um, the autumnal seasons. Um, and they just look perfect with anything, to be honest. This pair of boots literally goes with anything. It makes anything look cool. I've spoken about them a million times, so I won't go on. Um, but yeah, they look so cool with everything. And I just think wearing these with like denim, uh, denim shorts or a denim skirt and a jumper, like I said, um, is the perfect way to transition. Or with a little um, summer dress and like a jacket or a jumper again. Um, and these are my absolute favourites um, because they were an investment for me and they're something that I absolutely cherish. 
But I did pick up another pair that I want to show you, which are way more affordable. So I actually just picked this pair up the other day. They're from Topshop and they are Givenchy dupes and I love them so much. They've got some amazing like stud detail around here, buckles down the front and they are black leather and they're the softest boots in the world, which is in way comparison to my Balenciagas, which I'm still wearing in, which is why I actually got these. These are my fashion week saviors um, for when I'm not able to wear my Balenciagas. I'm literally this close to wearing them in. They're so comfortable and the whole of my feet apart from one part now. So fingers crossed that soon I'll be wearing them every day with no blisters or anything. Um, there's just one little patch that I need to sort it out and then I'll be done. Um, but anyway, these are still a great alternative. I love that they've got silver detailing too, black and silver. Um, whereas my Balenciagas are navy and gold. So it's great to have different options. Um, and I definitely think these bring something new to the table. These are way more flatter too. Um, and yeah, I think these are perfect for the... Um, autumnal season and another thing with ankle boots as well is that you may buy them now but like I said before you can wear them all year round I'll be wearing them in winter too with jeans um, or trousers or god forbid tights <laughs> I hate tights so much um, but yeah and then again spring summer I think when you get a timeless pair of ankle boots you'll wear them all year round anyway so this next transitional piece is something that I haven't been wearing every autumn it's not like a year round wardrobe staple thing for me it's actually something that I've just introduced to my wardrobe this autumn and it's after my success in summer with denim jackets um, I fell in love with denim jackets something that I never thought I could wear I didn't think I was cool enough for them I just didn't think that they went with my style um, I couldn't, didn't think that I could pull them off um, and I was wearing them for the whole of summer and I love them so much and then I was thinking like I don't want to let go of them and then I saw this in Topshop again literally been shopping in Topshop so much um, and it's the perfect kind of transitional piece because you've got your denim jacket so you've still got that kind of laid back summer vibe going on but it's um, shearling lined and it's actually so warm that I probably will be able to wear this through to winter too um, with a jumper underneath um, but I just love the washed out denim and I just think this again over a dress with a denim skirt um, with just if you want to wear just like jeans and a t-shirt but it's a bit too chilly you don't want to wear a coat then this is like a great alternative so you can basically wear whatever outfit you would have worn with your denim jacket but with this and it will add that extra layer of warmth and I fell in love with this so much that I saw it in white and I had to pick it up in white too so I got it in white because I just thought it, I loved it so much it's really cool I was gonna get a white denim jacket at the time but obviously we're going into the transitional season so I thought that this was way more suitable for this time period and um, again I love it so much I love the style of it I hadn't seen I've never really seen this before I don't know if it's a new I mean I'm sure that they've, they've done it before but I've never seen a white denim jacket with shearling and just thought it was super cool and again um, for those outfits that maybe I won't want to wear my denim jacket if I'm not brave enough to do double denim then I can do double denim but with white um, and I just think this is the perfect solution to a autumn winter jacket. So the age old autumn winter transitional season jacket and the thing that everyone reaches for and every girl should have in their wardrobe is the leather jacket and I think the leather jacket really comes into its own in kind of spring and autumn. The transitional seasons are 100% for the leather jacket, all year round I wear mine for, I layer it under things, it looks really cool actually layered under like a hoodie or something, um, but then all on top of a hoodie, sorry, um, or um, I love it just like in the evenings, it's a great kind of like night out jacket, um, but this one is actually from Diesel and I was kindly gifted this um, a few months back actually in summer but I knew that I was going to get so much wear out of it because I think with a good denim jacket I actually wrote a blog post on this which I'll link below but I think when you see a good leather jacket you need to snap it up because leather jackets are so timeless you wear them for the whole, your whole life probably um, so if you find a good one it's going to last you forever so you should buy it whether it's the heat of summer or the depths of winter or wherever you are if you see a good leather jacket you pick it up um, and this one is so beautiful, it's got lovely detail, really nice shape, it's kind of got um, this ribbed detail here which is elasticated so if I wanted to do it up I could um, and it would have a lovely fit to it but I don't actually really do my leather jackets up because I like them open but yeah I'm going to show you how I style this in a couple of different ways. Yeah, the leather jacket is just a wardrobe staple. It's just something that every woman should have in their wardrobe. So another wardrobe staple and something that comes into its own every transitional season, like the leather jacket, is the trench coat. 
um, and I got mine from Next last year. It's still going to do me this year. This is a thing with a good um, trench coat. I actually have on my wish list a Burberry trench coat, but I think it'll be a couple of years before I can make that purchase. So for now, this one will definitely do. Um, but obviously, with things like leather jackets and trench coats, they're going to be in your wardrobe forever. So it is something that's great to invest in, like my leather jacket. Um, and this is so gorgeous. I actually tied this at the back because I like how it looks when it's like open. And I don't think that I'd really do it up. Um, and this is super cool and just goes, they just go with everything trench coats do and they're really chic and they just kind of look like you're very busy and important and you, you're going somewhere very important when you put a trench coat on. I don't know, when I put a trench coat on I feel like a woman. I don't feel like a child. I still, I'm 27 and I still feel like a kid but when I put a, coat on, a trench coat on I feel like a woman. And then a not so wardrobe staple piece is the trench coat in gingham. I had to show you this one. I got it last year, it's still relevant this year, um, because gingham is huge, it's only got bigger and bigger and bigger, and this looks super cool with any outfit, and again, it just adds that kind of cool girl vibe to it. I love this so much, um, and yeah, I think it looks really cool. I think as well, like with a bright colored jumper underneath, um, and yeah, gingham is just growing and growing and growing. So, I mean, I might even get next season um, another wear out of it. Who knows? And then another thing that I actually mentioned previously, briefly, but I didn't mean to mention it because now we're at this point, <laughs> is jumpers with dresses. So actually, originally, I meant to say, when I said chunky knits, I meant to say chunky knits and skirts. So obviously, they look great with those. And then also, I love to layer knitwear over dresses looks amazing um, and I just think it's just a really pretty kind of feminine way laid back look to incorporate knitwear and to still get use out of your summer dresses into the transitional season so I want to show you a couple of different ways that I've styled those um, so firstly is this weekday knit that I got um, and I love it so much the colour is amazing it's got this like really nice kind of blue marl and it's got like a little turtle neck super cozy and I just thought over a little summer dress this is going to look super cute then again this chunky knit from Marks and Spencers I've literally not stopped wearing it since I got it and I don't see that stopping anytime soon because I just think it's perfect this is another wardrobe staple that I think I'll have in my wardrobe for like ever because it's such a basic perfect piece I just think a chunky cable knit cream jumper something everyone should have in their wardrobe not just women men too children everyone it is a wardrobe staple fact so thanks so much for watching my autumnal transitional outfit inspiration key pieces ways to wear video i hope that you liked it um, make sure you have a look in the description box because I've linked all of the products and I've put down my sizes and the sizes that I picked up so you can kind of see like I'm a size H10 and then I picked up a large because I wanted to wear it oversized so you can kind of figure out how you want to wear it um, so yeah make sure you check that out if you haven't already then make sure you subscribe I do two videos a week usually one is this kind of thing and one is a haul I don't actually say that I do two videos a week I say that I do one but generally there's always two because I can't stop shopping so there's always hauls to be done so yeah anyway thanks so much for watching i hope you like this video don't forget to give a thumbs up if you did and leave me a comment and let me know what your transitional season um staples are because i'd love to hear and if you think there's anything i should pick up that i'm missing in this then i'd love to hear too and i'll see you next time bye